A woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. What type of clothes do women wear today that pertain to men? Pants. Say it again, sister. Pants. Pants. You see how easy it is for like the little child? That's why Christ tells us we got to become like that. We got to become like a little child. But see the Christian church, the Christian church, Christianity as a whole that's taught by the Christian church makes everything complicated. It makes everything, but this Bible is simple. It's very simple. This Bible, what we just read, it means exactly what she just said. Bring it you understand? The woman shall not wear what, my little sister? Pants. She can't wear pants. You understand? That's right. But you said, the Bible said, right? Christ said, if you love me, then you'll keep whose commandments? His father's. Right. Is this his father's commandment? Yes, it is. Why you ain't keeping that commandment, sister? Why? I'm keeping it. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right now, right? Your attire that you have on. What are those called that you have on? I didn't, I didn't see the men back there in the Bible days with pants Listen, on. Listen, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay I with me. We talking about clothes that pertain to men and clothes that pertain to women. You understand? No, I'm listening to you, but I see how you're dressed and you dress with pants on. Those pertain to men. So I want you to acknowledge that you're wrong and you need to change. It's very hard for us to do that today. You understand that, right? It's very hard for us to do that. Did you see me before I got in these pants? No, but I see you with pants on right now. So what made you, what made you, what made you take that dress off and put pants on, sister? I wanted to put them on. That's why. Do you, do you want to love God? I want to love him, yes. I so you can't dress that way and love God at the same time. Yes, it, it, can. You can't do that. Yes, I can. The Bible says you can. It says if you love me, keep my commandments. Imagine having a husband, right? Hold on. I'm going to give you an example. Are you married? Are you? All right, yes. But imagine having a husband, Where right? Where your wife at? She's at home taking care of my children. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Come on. We do this. You think we're just out here with a Bible and we don't keep the commandments? No, we do this, sister. All right, now back to my question, all right? I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that you were married and you had a husband. You understand? And your husband said, look, I don't want you going to the strip club every night. I don't want you going to the strip club and throwing my money up at the strippers you understand your husband don't want you to do that right that's his commandment thou shalt not go to the strip club throw my money up at the strippers yeah, you, you say to hell with that you understand when i get off of work i'm going to the strip club you say imagine it uh, yes you imagine that imagine not, it not me, I'm giving you a hyper this is not real i don't think any of these sisters go to the strip club after work all right just follow me you with me I see. all right let's I say your husband told you to do that you said, to hell with that. I'm going to the strip club. I'm going to throw my ones anyway. Does this sister love her husband if she did that? No. Does this sister love her husband if she did that? No. Does this sister love her husband if she did that? No. No, she doesn't. You understand? It's the same way with God. Read the scripture again. That's right. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Basically, what you're saying is, to hell with what Christ said, I'm going to wear what I want to wear when I want to wear it. You understand? You will not keep a husband very long if you deal that way with him. So if you won't keep a man that God created in his image, hold on. If you hold on, hold on, hold on. If you won't keep if you can't keep a man that God created in his own image by not following his instruction, what makes you think you're gonna keep the most high God on your side? You're not gonna keep it. You're gonna not you're not gonna keep the God on his side. All right, listen. Hey, am I gonna talk or are you gonna talk? Do you see that All right, right, I'm gonna put the microphone husband. down so that's you can talk. All right, I'm gonna put the microphone that's down and you talk. Husband. All right, put it down. Good. That's my husband for 40 years right there. So don't tell me I can't keep a husband. You better talk to somebody that don't know no better. Where your husband at? Husband, right, come right over here, there. husband. Right there. That's please there, come. Right there. Husband, come over here, please. We want to talk to you. He ain't got to come to you. He ain't got to come to you. Give me First Corinthians chapter bring, 11. Bring all right. Your wife, Hold on, I'm gonna show you something. Me my husband I, already, I already told you what my wife is, sister. Did everybody hear me tell tell the sister what my wife my is? Yeah, sir. All right, so what are you talking about? Read what you got. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. The Bible says that the head of the woman is the man. So in no way, form or fashion should any woman ever be saying what her husband is and ain't going to do. Does everybody understand that? According to the Bible, that's not biblical. All right, read that part again. And the head of every woman is the man. But see, the problem is our sisters cannot take correction. That's why our sisters cannot keep a husband. You know what type of husband our, our sisters can keep? A weak one. 
a docile one, one that won't instruct them, one that won't do what their forefather Abraham did. That's the type of man that our sisters can keep today. I'm talking about the ones that's weak, ain't got nothing to say. You understand? I'm, my brother, your wife is over here, and it's like 30 dudes over here. You just sitting down, you ain't got nothing to say. You understand? You know what God calls that? He calls us a lion that's, 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 that's weak. Give me Genesis 49. And the black man, ain't, the black woman ain't making it no better for a black man. Right. The white man beat us down at work all damn day. Then we come home to a big mouth black woman. Right. You understand? How is that gonna make a black man feel? That's gonna make him feel like going to conquer the world? Hell no, that's gonna give him weak knees. That's gonna give him a feeble mind. You know what he's gonna wanna do? He's gonna wanna smoke. He's gonna wanna drink. He's gonna wanna to escape his reality. That's what she's gonna wanna do. He's gonna wanna escape his reality. You understand? Read what you got. Genesis chapter 49 and verse nine. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. See, a lion's whelp is a young lion. That's how Judah used to be. Now, the so-called black and Spanish Native Americans, we are the Judites. That's, right. That's who we be. That's who we are. You understand? We're the Israelites. We come from the tribe of Judah. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's who we came right, from. Right. You understand? But what has happened is the black man has been beaten down through what? Slavery. Through what? Drugs. Through oppression. Through prison. To school to prison pipelines. You understand? That's how the... Black man has been beaten down. The prison system is full of 70% of brown and black men today. 70% of those brown and black men were raised by who? Their brown, black grandmamas, brown, black mamas. No daddies there, 70% of them. You have to understand and acknowledge, recognize, admit that there's a problem with the black woman. She's not right. Why? Because her husband, Used to be a lion as well, but young, strong, mighty lion. Now what is the now what does the black man do? The black man just go to sleep. The black man just drink. The black man just get high. The black man just smoke weed. The black man just say, happy, happy wife, happy life. You understand? That's what the black man does today. Does that sound like a strong black man to you? Does it sound like a strong black man, sister? What you think? Huh? That sound like a strong black man? I wish the little baby was here. I bet she would tell the truth. Bring it out. You understand? I bet she would tell the truth. Come on. He stoopeth down. He couches as a lion. And as an old lion. As a what? As an old lion. That's what we looking at today. My brother, you look like an old lion. You got to wake up. You got to get up. Stand on your feet, bro. Who going to stand up for all the evil that's going on out here in McDonald Manor? Is it going to be you? You going to sit down? You're going to let your wife go to war for you. Is that what you're going to do? This is what our life has become. This is what we have become. A woman go to war for us today. And we stay home and drink and watch football and get high. That's what we do. This is the reality of our life. Come on. You understand? He's supposed to be leading his household. He's supposed to be in charge of all of that. He's supposed to tell his woman, no, nah, I don't like that. Take it off. Go put something else on. And you don't say a word. You go do it. Yes, sir. What else? That's what you're supposed to say. This is foreign to the black women today. This is foreign to the black women today. You understand? It's foreign to them. And if that, if, if this, thank you, my brother, he stood up. Give me Psalms 94 verse 16. Come on over here, brother. Come on over here, brother. We want to teach you. Who going to stand up for the evil that's out here in this community? Starting with your wife. That's where it starts. It got to start with your wife. Hey, Adam, he started with his wicked ass wife. That's right. All right. So where you going to start? With your wicked wife too. You understand? Me. Guess where I started? With my wicked ass wife too. We all started with our wicked ass wife. You know what's gonna make our wife righteous? This Bible. It's the only thing that can clean a wife up. That's right. Come on. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Well, brother, you gonna rise up for the community against the evildoers? Are you gonna start by telling your wife, stop dressing like a man? Look, we both can't wear the pants in the house. I'm the man, I wear the pants. When you gonna say that to your wife? What are you going to say? Yes. I got two questions. Yes. Where, it, where does it say that what does a man supposed to wear? Yes. Like give me give me Exodus chapter 28. All right. Exodus chapter 28. We'll answer your question for you. All right. There's many things a man supposed to wear. Many things a woman supposed to wear. I have another question. All right. All right. That's fine. We'll, we'll get this one first for you. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 28 and verse 41. What are we talking about? What is a man supposed to wear? Come on. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother, and thy, his thy sisters. Thy brother. Your aunts. Thy brother. Your grandmamas. Thy brother. Your nieces. Thy brother. So upon the men. Come on. 
and his sons with him. No, his daughters. His sons his with his little girls. His sons. All the men, right? Come on. With him. And shall anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Make them linen what? Linen breeches. You know what breeches are? Yes. What are they? Oh. What are they? They're what? They're pants. They're pants. All right. They're pants. What are we reading? What, what the Bible tells the men to wear. That's why you don't see men. It's not a normal thing for a man to walk around in a dress. Why? Because the Bible says that a man should walk around with pants. Right. That's right. All right. That's, did I answer your first question? Second question. Somewhat. What else do you need? I'll give you another one. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it what up. is the man supposed to wear? All right? We're going to tell you. You're asking good questions now. That tells me that you want to keep God's commandments. All right? Read what you got. Numbers chapter 15, and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes. Make them what? Fringes. Make them what? Fringes. And the borders of their garments. You see these fringes right here? These are fringes upon the borders of your garments. This is what men are supposed to wear. Women too. Come on. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So if you see a man that doesn't have a fringe with a ribbon of blue, he is out of order. He's in sin. You understand? God says men must have these on their clothes. You understand? So what are we giving you? The attire of a man. That's what we're giving you. You're supposed to have fringes on your clothes. A man is supposed to have pants on. You understand? These are things that a man is supposed to do. All right? What's this next question? Um, you said um, about way back about idolatry, and you said cele celebrating your birthday was idolatry. Yes. How is that? I just want to know. All right. Can somebody get the Satanic Dictionary for me? Satanic Bible. Satanic Bible, yep. Get the Satanic Bible for me and get Exodus chapter 20. All right. Celebrating your birthday is idolatry. When you celebrate your birthday, what do you do? Who's familiar with this? Who's familiar with this? It's my birthday, right? So on my day, I get to do whatever I want. Who's familiar with that? Who has that mindset? All right. I told you the children are going to be honest. Guess what? And on my day, all right. We get to go to the restaurant of my choice, and I get to eat whatever I want, and then I'm going to blow out my candles, and I'm going to make my wish all about whatever I want. Who's familiar with that mindset? I'm she saying, is. I'm Where did she learn that from? Where did you learn that from? That's not necessarily. I'm, not, I'm talking to the little girl. Where did you learn that from? I have to be on your Tell birthday. Exactly. Where did you learn that from? Did you learn it from your family? Yeah. We oftentimes we learn these customs from our family. The traditions that's passed down from generation to generation to generation. You understand? But it's evil according to the Bible. And I'm going to tell you why. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. What's the Bible say? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Does that include yourself? Yes. Yes, it does. But on your birthday, what are you making yourself? No, it, I'm saying it doesn't necessarily have to be your birthday for you to celebrate something. People celebrate, some people celebrate the birth, their birthday because women go through a lot in childbirth. You could just be celebrating life, not just trying to celebrate me personally or I want somebody to I, idolize me at that moment or that specific day. Do you receive gifts on your birthday? Yes. We can receive gifts Generally speaking, I, have you received gifts on your birthday growing up? Yes. Yes. So it's not about what you just said, sister. Nation is men leading by example. family.